Blackberry Diary. Part 8. Blackberry Painting and So Much More. Well, I'm excited to see you too. How are you guys doing? Hello. Can you believe it's the end of blackberry season? That's right, folks. The autumn is upon us. And we're seeing the remnants of where fresh, juicy berries once stood and the vibrant reds and greens of the spring vines have turned into a brittle and dry brown. There's so many more things that you can do with the blackberry plant, which I didn't go into here. For starters, you could freeze a bunch of them so that you can use them later in the year. You can use those frozen berries in a smoothie. You can make blackberry syrup. Mm. Blackberry popsicles, or ice lollies, as the European English speakers seem to call them. And also, the young leaves of the blackberry plant are one of my favorite parts to use. Before starting this whole blackberry diaries series, I did make a video about the blackberry leaves, which you can find if you like. And that video is mostly just about using the leaves for tea. Drying them out or even using them fresh and steeping them in some hot water makes a lovely tea. And if you're someone who likes to smoke, but you don't want to smoke the troublesome tobacco or other illegal substances, you can use blackberry leaves in an herbal smoking mixture. Here's a wild forage smoking mixture of blackberry leaves, mullein, and rose petals. But perhaps the nicest thing to do with these young blackberry leaves is to just pick them right off the vine and stick them in your mouth while you're walking around. Maybe stick them in a salad or something. You can also use blackberry vines for making a very nice cordage. There's really so many uses for this plant and maybe you'll discover something to do with it that nobody else has done yet. One fun thing that you can do as the berry season is winding down and you're starting to see berries that are past their prime for eating. But nonetheless, you can go out and pick these berries and bring them home and use them for painting. Of course, you know if you ever ate blackberries and got the juice on your face or your fingers that they have a very strong pigment. So why not use this pigment in making some artwork, huh? It's really very simple. Just take a blackberry in your fingers, get a nice piece of sturdy paper, and get to work.
Thank you folks for tuning in to this little video series. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And I hope that now it's clear why I chose to name an album after this terrific plant. Blackberry. <laughs>